Welcome to the second video tutorial on PIAC data analysis in Stata. The video tutorial is designed to give a practical guide to perform PIAC data analysis in Stata. It will provide information on how different tools work and which types of analysis they provide. The target group of the video are researchers who have at least some experience in data analysis of Stata, who have little or no experience with the analysis of PIAC data, and who are interested in whether the data are suitable for their research question. The second video shows you how to get access to the international PIAC data and how to get the data running in Stata. The public use files, or PUFs, for most countries can be assessed via the OECD webpage and the link shown here. Unfortunately, the data is not directly available in this data format, but needs to be converted. If you click on Download the datasets, you will be provided with the opportunity to download the data in SAS, SPSS or CSV format. In a first step, you need to download the dataset for each country in CSV format and save all files in one folder on your computer. In a second step, you need to download the do file to import the CSV data into Stata and save it on your computer. This do file will import and append all PUFs into a unique Stata dataset ready to be used. In a third step, you need to run the do file by clicking on the execute or do button in the upper left part of your Stata do file. While running, Stata will request the file path where you saved all CSV files and you can just type the path in the command window and click on enter. It may take a while until the do file finishes and you receive the message your PIAC dataset is now ready to be used in Stata. Please consider saving this file. To save the file, just type save in the path where you want to save your data as well as a file name in the command window and click on enter. Note this procedure will just provide you with the public use files of PIAC, which are freely available on the OECD website for everyone. As there may be updates on the datasets, it is worth checking the OECD website from time to time. Country-specific scientific use files may contain further details, for example on age, education and income, which could not be published in the public use files for reasons of data protection. In Germany, for example, you can contact the Research Data Center PIAC to get access to the German scientific use file. And of course, you can merge the scientific use files from some countries with the public use files from other countries. Some words on data management before we start to have a look at the PIAC data in more detail. This is a suggested folder structure for our subsequent data analysis. ORIGE includes your original data, comprising the CSV files and the original data set you receive when running the do file in Stata. Data contains all user-generated data sets, for example just including a subset of countries or respondents. Log includes all log files produced during data analysis. Proc includes all do files. Out contains all the results files, including graphs. Of course, this is just a suggestion and you can organize your data how you feel most comfortable with. Next, we look at several types of variables which are provided in PIAC. First, respondents' answers to the background questionnaire, or BQ, for example, on job satisfaction. The variable name DQ14 indicates that this is question number 14 in the BQ module D. Second, variables derived from the respondents' answers to the BQ, for example, the variable on current employment status, CD5, is derived from various items in the questionnaire. The D in the variable name indicates that it is a derived variable. Third, respondents' answers to cognitive items. For example, the scored response on the item orchestra ticket is given by the variable E664001S. However, as the items are not public, most data users will not find these variables helpful and they provide no sufficient information on individual skills. Instead, if you are interested in any analysis, including the skill domains, you should use the 10 plausible values available for each skill domain. For example, 
for literacy PV Lit 1 to PV Lit 10 and similarly for numeracy and problem solving. Fifth, interview your answers to the observation module, the so-called ZZ questions. For example, whether the assessment took too long as indicated by the variable ZZ5. And finally, auxiliary variables on survey workflow and design. For example, the variable PB root indicates whether an individual worked on the paper-based or the computer-based assessment. For detailed information on all variables, you can have a look at the International Codebook provided at the OECD webpage. This slide gives an overview on the first steps we will perform in STATA. We will go through each step in a second. First, we will label country IDs and also tabulate the countries. Then we will have a look at the 10 plausible values for each skill domain, as well as the weighting variables. And finally, we will save a small dataset, only including Germany, Greece, Singapore, Sweden and the United States, which we will use for our sample analysis in the following videos. The reason for using the smaller dataset is that it allows the sample analysis to progress more quickly. And now let's go to STATA. You can find this prepared do file on the first steps in STATA for download on the homepage of the Research Data Center. We will go through each command in this do file and you may want to pause the video several times to perform the commands yourself. In the upper part of the do file, we define some globals, namely the path where we saved our original data, the path where our log files are saved, and the path where our results will be saved. Then we open a log file. Next, we load our recently created data file, including the proofs from all countries, into STATA. As it is a large dataset, it may take some minutes. Here it is. In the lower right part, we see that there are roughly 230,000 individuals and over 1,300 variables in total. You can also see the variables in the upper right part and search for them in this window. First, we have a look at the different countries. The variable country ID provides us with information on the countries in the dataset and it's helpful to tabulate this variable. As you notice, some countries do not have a label yet, so we add their labels. The information on the country numeric values can be obtained from the PIAC technical report by the OECD. So we use the label define command and then we tabulate country ID again. We also want to have a first look at the plausible values for each skill domain. Remember, the variable names are pvlit, pvnum and pvpsl. So we can type this in the search window up here. And we see the 10 plausible values for literacy. Or we can tabulate or summarize one of the plausible values. We also want to have a first look at the replicate weights in PIAC. For most countries, there are 80 replicate weights in total. So we type the name for the weighting variables, SPFVT, in the search window again. And of course, we could also tabulate or summarize one of these variables. Finally, we will save a smaller dataset, only including Germany, Greece, Singapore, Sweden and the United States for some of our subsequent analysis. And then we are done with the first steps in STATA. We close the log file and then we can start with the analysis in the next video.